up YouTube, this is PZZS in here. So today, I've got a little bit of an unboxing for you guys. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, as you might be able to guess, you know, from the title and uh, from the fact that I have two um, space pins on the floor here, that this is actually a, uh, a space pin. Um, this is a pin model that I've actually been wanting for better part of like a year, maybe even a year and a half, um, you know, now, so, yeah, I think I heard about this maybe, uh, last, sometime last year, and, um, you know, just never really got around to getting one, but I finally decided to go ahead and get it, um, now when I ordered this, I hadn't really had the, uh, opportunity to really start, like, taking notes in class yet, there wasn't really a whole lot of things to take notes on, you know, at the time of ordering this, and I've actually found that I'm starting to prefer typing over writing, but there do come times where I need pen, you know, to uh, write something down in class, so this obviously is going to be a very nice pen for that, as well as it's just going to be a nice pen in general. It's definitely a very unique looking pen, so I got this, the seller by the way, is uh, Save on 3M. So it, it's actually all one word, so it might look a little funny if you're looking for the if you're looking up the seller specifically on Amazon. But save on 3M. Oops, that's something. Wait a minute, is this a package? Then a, no, it's not. The invoice invoice is on yellow paper. Wait a minute. All right, so let me set this down. Let's see, is this the invoice? Yes. This is the invoice. So got that out of the way. It's a very big bag such a simple item. So here it is. This is actually going to be my first time having a space pen in this style of packaging. You might be able to see right here. Well, I hope you can see it because I can see it on the camera. This is the telescoping the, the telescoping pen. So let's go ahead. Let's actually bring all this extra stuff out of the way here. Came in this little cardboard wrap. Um, basically, I just took a piece of cardboard, rolled it up, and taped it together to make a little tube. So that's how they did that. And there's the thing itself. I don't think we have anything else in here. Nope. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Okay, so sliding this out, we have the thing itself. Now, the uh, picture on Amazon... Uh-oh. Is this cracked? Oh man, the little casing it came in is cracked. I was actually planning on using this thing. Um, we'll see. I might... I don't know if that's really worth um, returning it over, the uh, fact that the casing here is cracked, but we'll see. I, I might contact them, see if they would be willing to do that. Um, I kind of wanted to have this, you know, I kind of wanted to use this... Um, little holder that it comes with to, uh, you know, one thing that I will go ahead and say about my bullet pin, which you can see up here at the top, is, is that it, um, it falls out of your pocket really easily, so much so that, and you see, I take, I ride a, um, public transit to school, I take the public transit, so I'm terrified, you see, I always wind up, you know, where, if I lose, if I were to lose this pin, I lose it in the car. I'm terrified of losing it in the bus and never being able to find it again. Um, and I imagine this one's probably going to have a similar issue because it doesn't actually have a pocket clip on it. So, you know, like this one doesn't. If this one, you know, if I could have a pocket clip on here, that'd be nice. So I was hoping that I could maybe um, use the um, little box itself as a way to sort of keep up with it. But let's go ahead and set stuff to the side. You can kind of see here that it looks sort of like the moon. Very nice. I believe underneath here we have some other documentation. Um, so there's that. Guarantee. Let's go ahead and set this down. And let's see. Uh, guarantee. So this actually tells you all about their uh, their ink cartridge and uh, replacing your space pen e uh, refill. So uh, if you liter literally, I think all it is as easy as like sending them five a five dollar bill to um, this address, which I guess I'll put up on the um, on the screen right now. Literally, I think all you have to do is send them a five dollar bill, mail it into them, um, and maybe you want to put a, put on a piece of paper the model, you know, sort of the the color of ink you want, you know, depending on. I guess this is a hexadecimal 
No, that's not. <laughs> it looks like hexadecimal, hexadecimal from far away because of the number sign. But, you know, I think you'd put your color on there. You want medium or fine and whatnot or bold. So there you go. Well, apparently they're $6 each. Huh. Oh, and shipping and handling is 5 bucks. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, that's it for that little thing. Um, here is the pin itself. Wow. This is not what I was expecting one bit. So this pin, it does have a very solid feeling um, build quality. Um, it weighs about the same as my bullet. Yeah, about the same. Maybe even a little bit heavier, which I was not expecting. Because when I took it out, I thought it was going to be a lot heavier than it is. But it's actually quite a bit lighter than it is. Well, let's go ahead and let's, um, let's see that telescoping in action. Bam. Check that out. Oh, there's a click. Bam. And there's the snap. So a lot of people like to do this. Oh, actually, that doesn't work. I guess you have to, maybe if you, uh, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to do it before it clicks, so you can sort of, oh, uh, come on, I was looking forward to being able to do that. <laughs> Actually, it looks like if you do do that, um, the cartridge kind of gets a mind of its own. Huh, interesting. But anyways, oh no, it did work that time. Oh, there we go. Let's kind of pull out the rest of the way. I imagine it'll sort of break in like that over time, but you can see, all you have to do to get this thing to retract is you pull... Let me get this more focused. So what you want to do is you just want to pull on this thing on the back and it will pop out like that, as you can see. And there's our tip. Very nice. You can kind of see how it works. Um, pop that in. Um, so when you're pulling on this, this thing here is um, it's a free mo it's a freely moving thing. I actually, um, yeah, it's a free moving um, thing here, and what happens is that when you're pulling on this, it actually pulls this back. I'm just, I'm going to pull on this, but just watch this. Alright, let's see, get the snap disengaged. So, watch. See what happens? And then I pull it out the rest of the way, and now it's actually a full-size pin. So, there we go, that's how that works. Um, and then it pushes, when you push this back in, hit a little snap, and then it's fully shut. Now, when it snap like that, it's not going to come open on you. No way, no how, all right? Um, so, there you go. Pretty, uh, pretty neat. I'm definitely stoked. Um, let's go ahead and let's see. I think in order to gain access to this, you grab, yeah, you, if you want to access your, um, ink cartridge on this, what you want to do, it's really hard to tell if this is in focus or not, because just the way that it looks... But what you want to do is you want to grab up here at, on top here. You see where there's this little seam here? You just grab up here and then start unscrewing it. And then this will come out. You see we have a little bit of a spring here. Alright. Kind of get the idea as to sort of this collar here moves separate from everything else. And here we have uh, the insert itself, which is like stuck in there. What? Hmm, hang on. Let me pull that out. What's up with the ins- why is this stuck? Do I need to further unscrew something? Or is it just stuck? Oh, it's just stuck. There we go. I guess maybe it's, um, let me see that, actually. Let me actually pop this back shut. Let me just put this back in. Does it kind of fit? Ooh, it kind of friction fits in there. That's interesting. I was not expecting that. So... It's kind of a... Wow. Guys. Wow. I have to say... Do you hear that? Wow. This thing is like a perfect, perfect fit. Jeez. <laughs> that is... That's actually far too amusing. But in order to put it in, you stick it in there, or you you put the cartridge into the pin and you press on it a little bit and it sinks in. So you can see here that when I'm pulling on a little uh, retractor thing here, it doesn't actually do anything because the retractor thing is actually, uh, I believe this is a magnet. Let me see. I think this thing uses magnets. Let me, let's go ahead and let's find out. Will it stick? I think this is magnetic. See. 
Um, I mean, because that's kind of what that looks like, right? You know, it kind of push on that, and... Or no, actually what it does is this... Okay, I got confused. So what it actually does is that... Let me go ahead and let me put this back together. Or no, when it's fully retracted like this, when this, when the back end here is fully, um, I guess, you know, retracted, it's putting pressure up on this, causing it to go in like that. You see that? Causing it to go in like that. And that swallows the tip. So actually you can see here that as I'm screwing this in, you know, it's not going to uh, expose the tip because you know, the collar is actually being pushed up against it, so... Yeast. Now, the collar is a separate moving piece. I can take this... I can... Or, I guess I should say the... What is this? Not the collar. It's definitely not the collar. And that's weird. What just happened? Huh, hang on. Ah, there we go. Maybe this wasn't in all the way. Um, but this is a freely moving piece. Like, I can take this and I can, uh, spin it. Alright? So that's like a completely separate piece. It'd be a little bit interesting if this were maybe on a track. Um, but it's not. It's like, it's just a separately moving piece. But guys, I'm really liking this. I like this, the finish that this is. I'm used to these, um, this high polish finish, you know, the high polished metal sort of finish on here. But this is a nice, um, anodized, um, sort of satiny finish. Let's go ahead and let's do a quick, quick size comparison here. Um, the bullet, we're going to do all the size comparisons with the bullet because the bullet is a very common model. So when fully closed up, like this, both pins here are fully, you know, fully closed. Um, the retractable, or the telescoping pin here, I'm not, I just feel like I need to refocus, hang on. Okay, the retractable pin here is um, a little bit longer than the actual bullet pin itself. Just a little bit, not much. Now if we go ahead and we fully extend them, so there's that, and here's this, fully extended. You can see here that the bullet pin is a significantly longer than the telescoping pin. Alright, this is more, you know, you're holding this, you do expect to have like an inch sticking out when you're using any sort of traditional pin. You know, this is, this feels perfectly comfortable. Um, but this, it's actually feels just fine because it's still kind of, you know, it's still a good bit sticking out of your hand, out of, you know, out of where your hand is. Um, it's, um, it's the thing here, the main, the main thing that's important is that it is resting against sort of the back part of your hand here. That's what I'm looking for, and that just, I don't know, kind of adds stability. Now, something to note about this pin is that this pin is obviously very short when you have it in its, um, you know, when you have it out and ready to use it. But it still hits right here, so while it takes a little bit of getting used to, it actually is the same exact riding experience that you get with any other pin, so... I actually, I really like this Trekker pin. This Trekker pin is always with me on my backpack, and um, that's been my main pin lately. So there you go. I mean, it can be a little bit fiddly because of how small it is, but we'll see how this one is. Now, this one is also um, a little bit wider. Let me see. Can you see that? This one is also a little bit wide, or is it? Let me see that. Well, okay, it's actually the same width, sort of the same diameter as the bullet, but here's the thing. This is the grip area, okay? The grip area is the same diameter as the actual thick part of the bullet pin itself. You got me? You see that? However, when we take this and we look at, you know, sorry, the bullet's grip, you know, you will see that it's, um... Here we go. It's definitely a little bit thicker, or definitely a little bit wider. So, you know, I'm sure a lot of people would find, you know, this pin to be much more comfortable than the, excuse me, than the bullet pin. So, let's go ahead and let's see how this thing actually writes. Now, a lot of people on Amazon do talk about that click that you hear, that that sort of little popping noise. It's, um, you know, it doesn't have a very loud click as you could hear there. Here we go. <laughs> this video, it's hard to tell when this thing isn't in focus. And then click. Bam. So you can kind of see how that works. Um, so let's go ahead and let's actually move some of the stuff out of the way here. 
I am a little bit upset. I, I just looked at the uh, the packaging again. I am a little bit upset that this packaging is actually cracked. Um, I could probably fix that with super glue. I could probably. I think I might even look into doing that because I wanted to use the case. Like I said, you see, you saw how it just rolled away on me. You know, it rolls. I'd like to be able to store it in a case. And actually, the bullet pin even works in there. Check that out. I just dropped the bullet pin in there without even thinking. Bullet pin even works in there, so... There we go. But I did bring out one of my notebooks. Right here. It's just a... It's actually a very cheap notebook in terms of price. It's like, oh, 97 cents, but this is a very nice notebook. Um, anyways, we're just going to flip to a uh, page towards the end. And, um... Let's do... Eh, how about here? And we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to try writing with it. So, here we go. This is going to be a little bit interesting. So, pop this out. I'll let me zoom in a little bit for you. Alright, so I'm just going to try writing. You see, this is the first thing it ever has written in its life. And... That's pretty clean <laughs> for the first line that at least the, uh, the user has ever written with it. So, check that out. Oop. That is pretty sweet. Let's get the whole thing in frame there. Whole thing in frame. Um, yeah, definitely, I, am, I have to say, I am very much pleased by this pen. Um, I, like I say, I've been wanting this one for a while. It, it looks very cool. It looks... <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the click. Um, it looks very cool. It looks nothing, you know, it looks completely different than any other pin that I've really ever seen out there. Um, you know, people, I, I'm, I've been, I, when I first got my first bullet pin, which actually was not this one, it was actually a black mat one. I do have a video up on it. But when I got my first bullet pin, I was kind of hoping that, you know, I'd get, you know, I was kind of thinking, you know, that people would think, you know, what is that thing? You know, it looks so, what, what is that thing? And, you know, I did kind of for the first, you know, few days, but, you know, really kind of the uh, response that I got to the, uh, the bullet pin was just so underwhelming because, you know, when you're, you, it's, it, I don't know why, it just, I wasn't really, I didn't really get a whole lot of questions about it. I guess it, I don't know. But this thing, I can tell you guys right now, since th this thing looks nothing like a pin, nobody is going to be expecting this to be a pin. So, I'm kind of hoping that this is going to get a little bit more, you know, like, what is that thing? What, you know, what is that piece of aluminum that's on your desk right there? What, how do you, what, what, you know, I'm hoping that that'll happen. And, um, I imagine that this thing will probably draw more attention than my bullet, if that makes sense. Um... Okay, so I want to go ahead and uh, make note of one more little tiny thing. I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out here because I'm going to show you the package for this. Okay, so here's the box that it came in. Now, what I want you to look at is the pin right here on the picture. Because, and a lot of people on Amazon pointed this out. Let's see, if I pull this out like this a little bit, and then, bam. There we go. I guess you just got to get used to that. It must be like kind of working with a zippo or something. Um, a lot of people pointed this out on Amazon. I'm going to have to mo focus in on this. Alright, take a look at that. Now take a look at the pin itself. Do you see anything that's different? If the answer to that is no, then... that's. I guess that's fine, I don't know. Um, as you can see, this is actually, the pin that is pictured on Amazon and even here on the box itself actually looks completely different. I mean, it looks basically this, like the same pin, but it is actually a little different. For instance, you will see that the part that you pull out, you know, you know, is actually, it, it's uh, tapered on the end, but on the actual pin itself, it's rounded. You'll also see that the grip, it looks a little bit more aggressive, but on this one, the grip, you know, is a little bit less aggressive, it's a little bit more simple. So, that's something just to take note of. You don't be expecting to get this pin when you order on Amazon, all right, because that's just not what you're going to get. I mean, maybe you will. I don't know, but, you know, I, I've never really heard of anybody getting the pin, you know, this pin, pin specifically. I've only heard of people receiving this pin. Um, most people don't even notice the difference. I actually, you know, I'm a, hang on, I'm the kind of person to notice stuff like that, and I, I didn't even notice that, so it's actually, it's very, very subtle, but they are a little bit different. Um, 
So there you go. And some people are actually, you know, they did take note that the back of this was tapered, but they were, you know, in the picture, but they were pleasantly surprised to see that it was actually rounded on their pin. And um, that was a very pleasant surprise to them. They thought that because it was um, tapered, it'd be harder to pull out like that. So there you guys go. That is going to do it for the uh, Fisher Telescoping Space Pin. Um, there you go. I, um, if you want, if you want me to, I could maybe make a follow-up video on this, but I don't really know how I would really go about doing that. I've already do have a review up on the Fisher Space Pin, you know, and. Um, yeah, yeah, so that's definitely uh, pretty neat. So, thank you all for watching, and adios. <clears throat>